Shalom Aleichem, Abotai, Shalom Aleichem. Before we start, Bezat Hashem, we would like to give a big bracha. Today is a very special day. It's the Ilula of my grandfather, Rabbi Moshe Arod Pinto. So in his merit, may HaKadosh Baruch Hu Hashem give everyone beracha, and atzlacha, and b'siyat edeshmaya. And may the merit of Rabbi Moshe protect everyone. And this year, here, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will hear all our prayers and grant all our wishes. Amen. 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 Now, Abotai, before we get to the Sfirah of the day, I would like to say a beautiful story of Rabbi Moshe. That it's one of the most famous stories of a Moshe, but I believe it's one of the stories that truly give us a lot of inspiration and a lot of koach, and we can learn a lot from it, especially before the time of Elul, when it regards to Imuna, faith. Now, but that faith is the strongest thing that we can hold in the world. That there is nothing stronger than faith. With faith, Rabbi we can take the worst things in life and turn them to the best things. We can take the biggest curses and turn them to the biggest blessings. It's all a matter of Abotai having blind faith. Now, Abotai, faith is something that doesn't always need to be necessarily in the times of happiness when you have faith. Faith, you have to have the strong faith even when it's dark, even when things are hard. We see Abotai that every single day we read four times a day what? Shema Yisrael. When we do Shema Yisrael, what is Shema Yisrael? Shema Yisrael, Hashem Eloheinu, Hashem Echad. That we're actually witnessing and putting down where our faith belongs to. We're showing HaKadosh Baruch Hu that we believe in Hashem. And what do we do when we do Shema? We close our eyes. Why do we close our eyes? To teach us that even when our eyes are closed, even when we don't see, even when it's dark, that is when the Emuna starts. That the Emuna, it needs to be only when, when, when our eyes closed. We have to close our eyes and walk with Hashem. And that's the only way we have Beracha. It's in Abutai about a father that one day, it was a Friday afternoon, came to the house of Abu Moshe, and it was a young man, and he was banging on the door. The people that were in the house, when they heard that somebody was banging, they heard that the banging was not a regular banging, it was a banging of fear, a banging of sadness, a banging of stress. They right away, they ran to the door, they opened the door, and they see a young man crying and crying and crying and crying and crying. They said, what happened? So the man looked at them and he said, today I'm about to lose my son. So I said, what do you mean you're about to lose your son? He said, you know, we were preparing for Shabbat. And while we were preparing for Shabbat, I had the kumkum of water, the hot water boiler. And my three-year-old son went to the kitchen, grabbed onto the hot water boiler, and pulled the hot water boiler down. And all the hot water spilled on my son from head to toe. That from his head to his feet, the hot water burnt everything. They rushed into the hospital and the doctor said, your son will not live until Shabbat. That once Shabbat, even till Shabbat, he won't survive. But you can imagine a three-year-old kid, his skin is soft. It's not like an adult. Even an adult, if that much hot water fell on a person, Hashem irachem. But here it's a three-year-old kid. So this man, he said, what, what, what could I rely on? What, where could I go to receive some hope that things will be well? So he said, maybe the tzaddik can give me some, some tikva, some hope that, that my son could survive. This terrible tragedy. So they, when he heard the story, he said, you know, we have to bring him to Rabbi Moshe fast. They quickly rushed him into the room of my grandfather, Rabbi Moshe, and he told the story. Now, Rabbi Moshe is listening to the story. What is he going to tell him? His son is burnt in reality right now. The kid is going to die now. What could Rabbi Moshe tell him to comfort him, to save him, to help him? What? So Rabbi Moshe looked at him, and he asked him a question. He said, how much imuna do you have? So this man, he said, you know, Rav, at this point, it's the only thing that I have. I only have imuna. Because on, on technicality, I lost my son. It's my first son. I'm a young man, and I lost my son. So Rav Moshe said, if you have imuna, go to my kitchen, take my hot water boiler, run to the hospital, and spill my hot water on your son. When he heard this, he said, you know what? If that's what it's going to take to prove Hashem that my imuna is strong, I'll do it. He ran, took the hot water boiler and ran to the hospital. When he arrived to the hospital, <coughs> he made his room, he made his way through to the room. The doctors were trying to see what they can do. The son was completely wrapped in tachboshet, in a cloth, and he took the pot. People thought, the doctors, they thought that he brought the pot from the house. But really, it was a different pot of hot water. He took the hot water, the pot, and he spilled it on his son. When the doctors saw this, they started to beat him up. He said, he just murdered his son. 
This young man had a son that, that is in critical condition. He just killed him. So some of the doctors were beating him up and the other half were trying to take off the cloth that is on the sun because it's full of cloth and hot water. It's cooking his son. And they're wrapping and they're wrapping and they're beating the father up at the same time. They take off the, 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 the cloth and to their surprise, what happens? The hands, the body of the son has no burns like nothing ever happened. A complete miracle. You know, Abutai, seven years ago, we did the Yulah, Rabbi Moshe, in Eretz Yisrael and Ashdod. <coughs> and <coughs> when the Yulot are done, there are 40, 50,000 people come. And while we're doing the Yulah, everyone is praying, lighting candles. And there's a man, wearing no shirt, naked, running in the Yulah and dancing and singing. So everyone said, what is this man doing? 50-year-old man, everyone is in a night of holiness, and he's not dressed? What is happening here? So right away, they said, get him out. Either he gets dressed, or they take him out. They approached the man, they said, either you get dressed, this is in Irula, it's time for prayer, it's time for study of Torah, time for praying to a tzaddik, you cannot run not dressed. <coughs> this man, he said, there's no way that I'm leaving, and there's no way I'm getting dressed. I said, why? He said, because I am publicizing the miracle. So what miracle? You're, 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 you're running around not dressed in a Yulah. How is that a miracle? So he sat them down and he told them the famous story of the young boy and the father. And he looked at them and he said, I am the kid. And look at my body, look at my skin. I don't have even one scar on my body. So I will not get dressed and I will show the people in the Yulah the koach of the tzaddik, the power of the tzaddik. But when I was a kid, I was burned from head to toe and they had no chance to, to survive. But still I am here and I have nothing, no scars. Abu Moshe Abotai was not a tzaddik, was one in existence. Mi Moshe ad Moshe lo kam ki Moshe. Moshe, no one is stood like Moshe. That said maybe about Moshe Abenu, but that's also said about Abu Moshe Aaron, my grandfather. <coughs> so Behemet Abotai, it's an opportunity. Light candles. He promised always when he was alive, he said that whoever will read Perek Tzaddik, anyone that will read chapter 9 in the Tehilim, which is Tefillah Moshe, Whatever he will pray for, he will come and he will grant him himself. And that is the segula of my grandfather, Abba Moshe. So Abba today, get up, go light a candle, go pray, go cry, read the, the, chapter 90, spill your heart to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And in the merit of Abba Moshe, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will protect us and give us Amen. big atzlacha. Amen. Now Abba yesterday, we have two sefirot. We have the sefirah of yesterday, which is Netzach, which... Netzach comes from the word victory, that a person on the day of Netzach could achieve the impossible. And today we have a hold, being thankful. But I, last night and today is the love of Moshe Aaron. Yesterday is Moshe, today is Aaron. So but I, with the prayer that we're going to do in the merit of Rabbi Moshe Aaron, we will reach the impossible and have victory. And after we will have victory, we will get to a hold. What is hold? Odeya. A prayer of thankful, of being thankful, thanking HaKadosh Baruch for all the gifts. So Abotai, grab the opportunity. Go pray for the impossible. Don't aim low. The, the higher you aim your, your, your bow, the further the, the, the arrow will go. So aim high. Reach for the impossible and we will achieve it and we will be able to say thank you for achieving the impossible. Big Bacham Yitzchai in the merit of Rabbi Moshe. Protect us all. Abotai, this is what I want to say. When you pray, don't pray by asking, you know, Tzadik, give me panasa, give me this. I want you to demand. It's not a matter of, of speaking, it's demanding. And if you have a problem of, of not connecting to a Tzadik, tell them his grandson, your grandson sent me to pray to you. There is no moving left or right. Your blood sent me to pray to you. And demand it, and I am like asking Saba to hear everyone's prayers. Amen. 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 Amen.